Hello, this is Paul Bergen from the Mars Hill blog. Um, uh, continuing a series of vlogs on the significant moments in the history of polar exploration in both the Arctic and the Antarctic. And it seems somewhat ironic this evening in very warm weather to be talking about um, the Cook Peary controversy. On face value, the argument is that um, Robert Peary was the first to reach North Pole on April the 6th, 1909. Um, and even if Frederick Cook hadn't claimed to have gone there the previous year, and the wider discrepancies about his um, claim, then you know, Cook, Peary's claim would still for sure. Robert Peary is a very ambitious man, according to Fergus Fleming in his book 90 Degrees North. He was also a very vindictive man, and a very um, selfish man, and a very determined man. He was determined to be famous for something, and that in this case, it was to be the first at the North Pole. Nothing was going to stop him. He made sure that he had his area in the uh, uh, the high Arctic above Canada and Greenland. That was his territory. No other explorer was to be allowed near there. Um, which is a very dangerous and foolish thing to do. But it was to do with a, the, the Victorian honour. So it was tied around that. And he tried year in, year out. And he felt forestalled. He was annoyed one year when he felt that he had done that bit further. Only to find that in... Uh, that same early summer, an Italian expedition had sort of beat him to it by two degrees of latitude, because it was the is he thought he'd broken the furthest north from a landmass. Um, in 1906, he claimed to have reached 87 degrees north. And that's now subject to controversy, although he did it's undeniably went far. Ditto, 1909. If he didn't get to 90 degrees north, he's certainly, given the last at readings you could say were accurate, and the last people to leave with him, he made sure that those who were with him were not as experienced. Coincidence. Um, but he'd certainly reached further north than anyone else. He had passed the 88th parallel. He, he, he would have at least got within 60 miles of the North Pole. He did not take proper readings uh, as such. Um, there was no um, secondary verifiable evidence. It had to rely on travelling 30 miles a day each day. It had to rely on there being no leads. There had to be... Rel all so many factors that you would have to accomplish that and then knowing then he would have reached the North Pole. And that would have taken some miracle. He um there as I said, there was no one to contradict him, no one as trained as him on the final one. There was he did not submit his evidence for review to a neutral neutral party, nationally or internationally. He um the last five marches were inconsistent. Uh, the speeds, etc. It's uh, Henson, who was with him, had an account of tortured detours to avoid pressure ridges, ice flows, rough edges, uh, often few meters high, and of leads, open water. So to have managed to achieve that and all that was with thirty miles a day, uh, sledges and dogs, total miracle. Even more of a miracle. The fact that he got back in a faster degree. However, it does make sense if he was um, only reached about 60 miles south of the North Pole. Cook's um, assertion, only of, to obviously he had no evidence to back it up. None whatsoever. Just his word for it that he turned up at the North Pole in April 1908. Peary set out to prove him a fraud and he succeeded 
but it is, it, it, you can't help but look at it now as if it feels like one fraudster is out to prove another fraudster is wrong. And it just, it's just a, you know, really bizarre. And in all of that, it was very likely the North Pole wouldn't be, wasn't reached and wouldn't be reached for another 17 years. But that's another story. But yes, the believed attempt to reach the North Pole surrounded in controversy at the time. And there, there were people at the time, although not so outspoken, who didn't believe Peary reached the North Pole. I struggle to believe it. People far better than I don't believe it. And uh, so there it is. Thank you.